Well, hello there. I think today is Thursday. I'm not sure, though. So if it is, I'm guessing about November 3rd or so. <laughs> 2017. We're up here in northeastern Ohio, and I've just been blanketed with uh, for days on end now with clouds and rain and all this good stuff. So I haven't been able to do anything, but I thought I had a short break here of the sun trying to eke out over here in the southeast. But by the time I hit record, it was gone. <laughs> anyway, ah, oh, darn it. I'm a little bit disappointed because there's a lot of stuff upcoming here for November. I just watched uh, Nemesis Maturity's video they put out uh, on the 1st. I think that was yesterday. If that's so, today's November 2nd. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't know what day it is. Anyway, it'll be at the beginning of the video. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed because in November, it, we got, we generally have uh, crappy skies and weather and stuff like that, so, but there's going to be a lot of morning stuff that's people will be able to see uh, pre-dawn, you know, before the sun comes up. Um, let me see here. Well, Friday and Saturday, the November 3rd and 4th, the hunter's moon, they call it. It might be orange when it uh, rises above the horizon. Um, it'll be nearly full and then full on those days. And it looked like um, when it rises, at least for me, Looks like Pleiades would be uh, right up to the left of it. So that might be a cool shot. November 5th and 6th, the moon occults uh, goes over top of Aldebaran. That's around 8 p.m. for me. Then Saturday the 11th, the moon and Regulus are real close together. Let's see here. On the 13th, which is Monday, Oh, man, I really want those. Um, Venus and Jupiter are going to be next-door neighbors. They're going to be real close in the uh, morning sky. Um, Tuesday, we still have Venus and Jupiter, Spike, uh, Mars, and the Moon. That's going to be about 6.30 in the morning. So that's uh, the 14th and 15th and 16th. Um, by the 16th, the Moon will be about 3.7% lit. It'll be your real tiny crescent and then Friday the 17th the moon would be about 1% crescent still with Venus, Spica, Jupiter and Mars and uh, the meteors, the Leonid uh, meteor showers should be probably after midnight that Friday night the 17th uh, to the 18th let me see it said uh, look in the east about 2 a.m. oh let me see down at the end of November Tuesday the 28th uh, Saturn and Mercury are going to be real close to each other, but they'll be, for myself at least, they'll be low on the horizon, which probably have dipped down below that house. <laughs> yeah. So just a lot of, a lot of stuff out there to, to see in the morning and evening if, if you have clear skies. Hope you all get a chance to see them. And like I said, up here in Ohio, it's, it's tough viewing and November and in December with all these uh, cloud systems that move in. So, I'm actually going to eat gum while we waited it out. Alright, it's not the best view, but at least we got something here. My goodness. There's not supposed to be any sunspots now, but at least we got a quick look at the sun up there. Anyway, I miss y'all. <laughs> I miss the sky too. So, y'all take care and I'll leave a link there for the Nemesis uh, Maturity channel so you can watch that video. It's better than me rambling on about this and that. So, 
Alrighty. Well, a wonderful day to you, and whatever day today is, uh, I hope it goes well. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all take care, and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.